All right, guys, so tonight I am going to be doing a project. Um, I've already started it, actually. I used some casting resin and filled a majority of these holes with um, eyeshadow, actually, instead of pigment because it was a lot cheaper. And now I want to add a top coat so that... I can actually use this table. I'm going to go ahead and get ready and hop to it. <laughs> you guys see my children's art artwork and my cat. He's a good boy. His name is Huey. All right. Okay, so this is a one-to-one -one component, and I actually need to mix equal parts of both of these into here, and then I'm going to I'm going to slow it stir. I'm going to stir it slowly and hope that all of the bubbles do not present themselves. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and add part one. I do not recommend getting a clear container to do this in with, with clear numbers. It makes it very hard to measure just for any new people out there. I'm fairly new to this myself, but I figure as I go along I'll help with tricks and tips and things that I pick up. Alright, we've got our first part in there. It says to mix these really well beforehand, but I'm just going to add them both together and mix it as one. I don't know if you can tell the difference or not, but these are both in there and ready to go. See how there's that little bit of separation? That's part A and part B. I'm going to go ahead and mix now until it comes back clear and there are no bubbles. which is actually quite a lot of stirring, but well worth it. I 
also want to suggest wearing a face mask to do this. This stuff stinks. And I can't imagine that it's very good for your health, but it's just a suggestion. It is not a clear consistency yet, so we're just going to keep stirring and scraping the sides to make sure everything is well incorporated. It's almost back to that color that we want. And there are bubbles in this, but they're small bubbles, so I think it'll be okay. All right, there is no cloudiness to this. So I'm going to go ahead and pour slow onto my project. And then I'm going to just kind of smooth this, not smooth it out, but just kind of try and move it so that it's um, in the places that I need it to be. I don't need for this to be perfect. I just want it to be um, to where I can use it because I actually can't use it the way it is. I can't write on it or anything. So I'm fixing it up the way that I need to in order to be able to use it and making the best with what I've got. Okay, so now that I've got, well, I already see where it's starting to leak just a little, but it, it will be fine. I do need to try and level this out a little bit better, though. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these two little makeshift blocks and adjust them. Just them as I need to. I actually think I need to go get a couple more, so I will be right back.
I just grabbed six of these little Dollar Tree um, Django blocks. I'm just going to lift this up. Just gonna move those out of the way so that all, all of this is even. I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be out of place. Oh, shoot. Make sure when you're doing this, you get all of your little corner pieces filled in so that it sets properly. I should have poured some directly over this thing as well, but I did not. So I'm actually going to try and put a nice thin layer over that so it'll dry. And I, I'm wishing for the best is what I'm doing. Sometimes that's all you can do. Just go for it. Wish for the best. If you mess up, you mess up. We'll try again. Just be creative. Be creative. Alright guys. Gals. That looks like it is set to me. I'm going to show you a better view if I can. Um, I now have to let this sit for at least 24 hours and then I'll come back to it so I'll see you guys next time bye